one. That light has come into the world. The same light we read about in the book of Isaiah, the 60th chapter. That light has come into the world. Come on. And men love darkness. And what? And men love darkness. And men love darkness. Even though the truth is coming into the world, the light that's shining in the darkness. The Lord said what? And men love darkness. And women. Men and women love darkness. Come on. Rather than light. Rather than the light. It's pleasure, more pleasurable for them to be in ignorance and wickedness than to come back to the light. It's easier for them to put tattoos all over their bodies, worship and serve Mother's Day, Christmas, Easter, and Halloween, be a freak and have sex with multiple men, men having sex with other men's wives and multiple women, than to come back to the, what the Bible said. That's the light. One more time from the beginning. Come on. And this is the combination. On. That light has come into the world. That light has come into the world. Come on. And men love darkness. And men love darkness. Come on. Rather than light. Rather than light. Come on. Because their deeds were evil. Now, what's a man's deeds or a woman's deeds? Their character and their actions manifested by that character. But also, their deeds are evil. When you check it out, their lifestyle is not right in the most high. And they know it. They know it. That's why they get mad at us. They know they, they, they know how they're living is not right. Proverbs 12, verse 14. You understand? 14 and 12, rather. Proverbs 14, chapter 12, verse. They know they know their lifestyle is not right. So when they come up and confront us, what? they get mad. They want to fight. They want to spit on at us. They want to uh, 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 walk through the back. They got all this room to walk over, this in, over in front of us. They purposely walk here to show they have authority or some kind of power. I can't let the niggers talk to me like that. So they walk, they purposely walk behind us. Most high sees that thing too, man. Read that. Call me that. Proverbs 14, verse 12. On. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. You know what the Lord said? Read it again from the beginning. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. But the end is death. There's a way that seems right unto a man. But at the end is death. In other words, everybody gonna have a good time, party, and ignore what the word is saying. Do what you want. But the end judgment is death. Let's prove that. Drop that. Go to Isaiah 60 verse 4, 60 verse 12, I think it is. 66 verse 15. Isaiah 60. Isaiah the 66 chapter, the 15 verse. Let's prove that. Because everybody, it's, America's a big party. Nobody cares about what the Lord says. Nobody cares about what's right or what's wrong. Understand? How you doing, brother? Understand? Nobody cares about that. So what's the end? Death and destruction. The Lord is not playing. We see it happening. Those of us who are spiritually aware, we see it happening a little bit at a time, every day. The vibration out here, it don't feel right. You can see the lies clearly. And the devil, the wicked, that's the powers that be, that's at the top. Like the ruling banking families, the Kellogg family, the Rothschild family, the DuPont, the Gettys. They, 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 they become bold with their wickedness now. They put it right out there in your face, and we don't say a damn thing. The ones of us who are ignorant. So what's happening? Those same people who refuse to come back to the most side, they're going to die. Paul Isaiah 16. 66. Isaiah 66, chapter 12. 15. Isaiah, Isaiah 66, chapter 12. You understand? So the mercy is here. The Lord is having mercy. Now, the mercy is right here. It's in the Bible. It's right here. What does that say? So the love mercy is here. You understand? It's about the coming of the Most High. What does it say? Go to Isaiah 41. You understand? Mercy is right here. The mercy is when every time we come out here, and those are people who are walking back and forth who are confused, they want to look, they look for the truth. Right here. You didn't come in on your own, the Most High brought you here. I said it all the time when we come out here. When people come out here and they come to listen, the Most High brought you out here. You have any questions, by the way? Any questions? You feel free to ask questions. No questions are good. Hey, great questions. What's that? Okay, what about you, my man? You got any questions? Okay, listen, read that. Isaiah 40, verse 1. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people. So our job is to comfort you in the spirit of the Most High. Listen, that's our job to comfort you. Read it again. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people. Comfort ye, my people. Who are love people? People on that sign there. Lost in the comfort you with what? With the truth. Because when you're confused, 
you don't know what to do. You don't know where you're going. You're caught up into all kind of evil wickedness. One more time from the beginning. Help for ye, help for ye, my people, stand your God. Speak ye comfortably. That's what we're doing now. The Lord says, speak ye comfortably. Come on. To Jerusalem. You're Jerusalem. So the Lord said, to comfort you with what? With what the scriptures are saying. In other words, give you understanding that the Lord's mercy is coming. Give you understanding that you don't have to be afraid of the so-called white man and the other nations and the people that's not on his song. That you're above them. You're, so, you're above them. You're not niggers and spicks and Negroes and West Indians like you've been taught. You're above all people on this planet. That's in the Bible. That's in the Bible. One more time from the beginning. Come from ye. Come from ye, my people. Save your God. Say the most high. Come on. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. Come on. And cry unto her. And cry unto her what? The truth of what the Bible said. Cry unto her what? The facts is written in the Bible. And cry unto her. Come on. That her warfare is accomplished. That what? That her warfare is accomplished. You got a question? The Lord said to tell our people that her warfare is accomplished. What's that? It's not a religion. It's the Bible. You really do. We believe that these people on the sign here are the real Jews. You've seen pictures and movies. Of... I believe we're not Jews. What's that? I don't know about that. What do you know about this? I'm looking around. You know, we must believe this. We are. We're not Muslims. Muslims no, don't believe this. I know. I know. Okay. We're Muslims believe that. What's that? We believe that Israel goes around the world and all that. I don't want to see something. Muslims don't believe the same thing. Muslims walk around the Kaaba. We don't, there's no there's no law in scripture or Torah that says to walk around the Kaaba. Muslims touch and kiss the black meteorite that's in the Kaaba that fell from the sky. You understand? We don't do that. You understand? Then Muslims, not Muslims, Arabs or so-called Ishmaelites, that's a real biblical nationality, sold blacks who are the real Jews into slavery. You understand? So it's two different entities that you're talking about. Not the same thing. You understand? Then further, the Muslims, they read a book called the Quran. We don't believe in the Quran. We believe in the Bible. The Quran, the Lord don't respect or, or, or have anything to do with the Quran. What's that? What, what do you think of all this? What, which one? All of this? This one. This sign here? I think it's a trash, but it's also the most high. Give me Isaiah 45 and 7. You know the Lord, he controls all the death and destruction that happens around the world. Yeah. Like 9-11. Remember 9-11? The Lord put the spirit on men to orchestrate that whole thing. You understand? So when you read the Bible, there's more to come. There's more to come. It's not over. Read that real quick. Check this out. Isaiah 45, verse 7. Isaiah 45, verse 7. Yeah. I form the light. The most high the creator of heaven and earth. He said he forms or created the light. Come on. And create darkness. And he creates the darkness. Come on. I make peace. The Lord said he makes peace. Come on. And create evil. And create what? And create evil. And create evil. This is evil. War in the Middle East is evil. Destruction and bombings all over the world. That's evil. The Lord said, read it again from the beginning. I form the light. Come on. And create dark. Come on. I make peace. The Lord said, he makes peace. Come on. And create evil. And he makes evil. Come on. I, the Lord, do all these things. I, the Lord, do all these things. So there's not going to be any peace in this country. You know why? Because in this country, anything goes. You could be a gay. You could be a lesbian. You could, uh, is that right? Being a gay or lesbian? What's that? It's a bad choice. You ever heard of making a bad choice? You ever, you ever heard there's no such things as making errors? It's only a, the only thing is is making bad choices. It's a bad choice. What? I, I didn't hear you. So you do, do you believe in God? Get that again in the Bible. You believe against 20 or 30. You said you believe in God. And you don't believe in this? Okay. Right. Sexual, transgender, whatever. Right. I believe that God accepts all Okay, so let me go in the Bible. I'm going to show you that you're wrong because you said we have a difference. Let's go in the Bible. It won't take long. It's like a three-day. Let me show you another picture. Let me show you another picture. Let me show you another picture. Let me Is this right? Is this right? It's totally right. It's totally right? That's what the Bible says. You said you believe in God. Read that. If a man also love. With mankind. And two men having sex. If a man also lies with mankind. As he lies with a woman. As he lies with a woman. Come on. Both of them both have of committed them. an abomination. Also, both have committed an abomination. Define the word abomination. 
Yeah, look at that. What's the, with the final word about, you look like that, okay? Look at the final word about abomination.